Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have a trick proving question over here. The best thing I tell my students uh, when you're dealing with a proof, it's best to, to start with the right hand side so you have some idea where you have to go. Okay, that gives you some rough ideas. So let's try that. Right hand side is equal to cotangent of a t sine of 2t. Now, I happen to know or memorize the sine of 2t. If you don't know this one, it's no big deal. It's really just sine t plus t. Okay, this turned out to be twice of sine t cosine of t. Now, different teacher required different things gets memorized. Um, it's no big deal if you don't remember this one. If you have a sheet, great, use it. If not, uh, end of the tape, I'll tell you what I expect my students know code on the exam. Anyway, so let's go back over there. Cotangent of t, by definition, is cosine t on top divided by sine of t. Okay, and then times twice of sine of t cosine of t. Obviously, sine gets canceled. I end up with twice of cosine squared of t. Okay, so, so far, so good. Right-hand side, uh, left-hand side. Okay, there's another formula coming up. 1 plus cosine of 2t. Okay, 1 plus, now cosine 2t, I know that this one is cosine squared t minus sine squared t, uh, t here. Okay, so since cosine squared t plus sine squared t equal to 1, so I can rewrite this one. I can see this one is 1 minus sine t squared minus sine t squared here, or, okay, that gives me one form. Or I can say also equal to cosine squared t minus 1 minus um, cosine t squared here. Okay, so that gives me two different things I can use. I can have twice cosine t squared minus 1, I can use that, I'll push it up a little bit, or if I want, I can use it into the form of sine, equal to 1 minus twice of sine squared t. Obviously, there's a huge advantage using this form because that's exactly what I need for the other side. Okay, so let's put this one in there, it's twice cosine squared t minus 1. Okay, obviously, this equal to cosine t squared, which equal to right-hand side. Okay, that completes the proof. Now, let me tell you what are the formulas I require my students know code, which I think helps a lot. Sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. Okay, that's the one I require them to know because sine follows the sine. Okay, so sine follows the sine. So if it's a plus, it's plus. If it's a minus, it's a minus here. And also sine is a fair one in that it doesn't um, monopolize unlike cosine. Cosine of a plus b. Here we have a cosine of a and cosine of b right off the bat. Okay, minus sine a sine b. So cosine is the opposite of the sine, number one, and cosine is what I call selfish in that cosine requires cosine come first. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.